Today I'll be doing a very short presentation on how you can use EHR Tutor in your simulation and your skills labs. Our product, EHR Tutor, is designed so you can use it really in any setting as far as the lab goes. So if you have a very basic setup where you have older mannequins, maybe they don't interact with your students, they're not high fidelity mannequins, or if you just have human volunteers, any skills lab setting you'll be able to use our site to enhance all the way up to if you have a high fidelity simulation lab where you do have mannequins and different equipment available to your students. So what I'll do is let's go ahead and take a look at some of the problems that face um, students and instructors in lab settings now. What we hear a lot of times is with some of the other products out there to do electronic charting and when you're still on paper charting, there's a lot of difficulty in the setup. So whether it's creating your patient scenarios or if it's cleaning up your scenarios after they're used by your students, or also a lot of instructors will have a hard time with updating their charts as they get older. So changing the dates and times, making sure to update medications that were given so they always look current, things like that make it very difficult to use some of the other systems out there or to update paper charts because you do have to keep those updated as well if you plan on using them in a lab setting. Another problem we hear often is that most schools have very limited lab time now. You have a lot of students, you only have one lab or however many mannequins that you have and you have to get all your students through there. So it can take a lot of time when your students come in and they have to spend the first 15 minutes reviewing the scenario before they actually start their work. In addition to that, you might need your students if in a basic skill setting to just do one or two skills. You don't need the scenario to be as complicated as some of the ones you might have access to now. So there's a few ways that you can maximize that lab time instead of having your students bogged down with just reviewing, charting, or finding the information they need to find. The other thing that we hear is debriefing is becoming more and more important every day. And if your information is not charted somewhere that you can review with your students, it's very difficult to do a debrief and have accurate information in front of you to review what happened. It's also very difficult to find the charting that was done in a lot of other systems or on a paper chart because it may not be time and date or uh, it may not have a time and a date recorded on it. It may be tied to a general activity instead of a student specifically. It's just hard to find the information that you're looking for. So some of the solutions that EHR Tutor has come up with for those problems is as far as lengthy setup goes, it's very easy to set up patient scenarios or patient charts in our site, and it's also very easy to manage those scenarios. So what happens is we do have pre-built patients that you can always use, but you can edit our scenarios at any time. So let's say right now with your mannequin setup, you have a COPD scenario that you always run. It's based on the mannequins that you use at your school. We also have a COPD scenario, but maybe with yours, you have a specific medication that we don't have on ours. What you can do is instead of building an entire patient chart that fits your scenario, you can open up our COPD patient. You can edit that patient to add medications or tweak any charting on them. And that way, once you save that, you didn't have to spend a whole hour creating a patient. You now just edited one of ours and have created a new patient based on that template. The other thing you can do is you can create a new chart, and we do train everybody that will use our site as far as instructors go. So the first few times you do create a chart, one of our trainers is happy to walk you through that so you don't have to worry about making mistakes when you do it on your own. So that makes things a little bit easier. Um, the other great thing about our charts are you, how we manage our dates and times. Everything's relative. So when you put a chart in here, it's saved forever and ever and ever. It will never go anywhere as long as you use our site. When you actually use that patient in a scenario or an activity in your lab, all the dates on that patient and all the times will pull forward based on when the student actually opens the scenario. So if you have a patient chart in there, that has uh, charting that was done an hour ago, or if that patient is three months old, 
No matter when you actually use that patient in a lab, he or she will always be three months old, and that charting will always have been done an hour ago. So everything pulls forward automatically for you, which means you are never updating dates and time. So you're saving yourself time with that setup. Also, all charting done within an activity by a student is saved within that activity. It never updates your template patient, so you don't have to worry about clearing out old information on your patient scenarios. As far as limited lab time, one thing that's really important is a lot of programs that use EHR Tutor will actually create an individual activity for their students where they can see a lab patient's a lab patient chart before coming into the lab. That way they can review the scenario, familiarize themselves with any work they'll have to do, and they can even do pre-planning. So if you want them to build a care plan before coming into the lab, or if you wanted them to do any journaling or charting ahead of time, they can do that. So once they get to the lab, they are spending no time doing the review. They can immediately start doing the actual skills or the actual work on that patient. You also have the ability to create very simplified scenarios. So this would be good if you have a 15-minute lab period and all you want your students to do is come in and practice their NG tubes. If that's the case, you can clear out a scenario so all your students see on there are the orders for those feeding tubes or anything else you want them to practice. So if you want them to see a very complicated scenario, and find the correct orders, that is something you can do. But if you want this to be very simplified so they don't have to weed through all of that because you need them to just get to that one skill today, you can create a scenario like that so they don't have to look through the entire list of orders or go find information in a very complicated chart. We also, as far as debriefing goes and grading, we do have some easy solutions for recording and reviewing students' work. Whenever a student does their charting, they'll be doing their charting in real time. So if they have a skills lab and they're practicing taking vital signs on their partner in the lab, they'll be charting those vital signs right as they take them, just like they would in real life. Once they submit those, they are saved in the site, so instructors or lab coordinators can go in and review that right away. Same thing goes if they're going and doing medication administration, they can do the barcode scanning and recording of that medication on your mannequins right in here as soon as they actually give the med. That way, when you go in either during or after this simulation or this lab, you as an instructor can always grade their work, and during a debrief, you can actually pull up that charting. You will see everything will be date and time stamped and tied to that student's account, so you don't have to go searching for the work that they did. It's right there. Everything that they did during that lab will be highlighted so you can find it very easily. And then any work or any notes that you want to record on there for the students to see, you can enter in a comments field or a grades field. That way, if your students wanted to go back and review what they may have done wrong or what they did on that particular lab, they can always go back and look at that information later on so they can um, continue reviewing those skills after leaving the lab setting, and you as an instructor will out, always have those grades recorded where you can go and see the progress of the student or make sure that everybody did the labs that they needed to do throughout the semester or the year. So those are just a few ideas for how our system can help enhance your lab experiences no matter what type of lab you have at your school. If you would like more information on our product, you can always call 440-305-6188 and one of our salespeople would be happy to t help you or set up a phone demo. You can also visit our website, ehrtutor.com. And if you go to the website, you'll see another short video like this on how you can use our program in a clinical or a classroom setting. You can also find our list of upcoming webinars. We do them every month. They are free to join, so if you ever wanted to listen in for further teaching ideas, that's always something that you can do.